Okay, everyone. Um, I'm here to show you guys how to configure the um, router from the wireless G Linksys network. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into Internet Explorer, or Firefox. I prefer going to Firefox, which I think is a lot safer. Let's wait here to get open. I ever take a little long here, but. Just turn on my computer and I have a lot of startups um, applications. As you can see I have a lot of icons. <laughs> um, yeah, but I, my computer is a little slow at the beginning, but then after that it runs really fast. But hopefully this thing turns on. But here we go. <clears throat> okay, as you could tell that uh, I'm autom automatically I'm going to get Yahoo. Um, and here because this is my home page and I'm automatically going to have the internet. But if you notice that it's going a little slow because I just installed the router and this is what happens every time you install the router. Um, it goes a little slow. Alright. Uh, first off, we're going to configure um, the router to this computer and your second computer that right now I have it in my uh, kitchen. I'll go to start. Let's go to my network places. And I'm going to view network connections. By the way, I'm using um, uh, Windows XP. I'm going to right click on local area connections and I'm going to properties. And in properties, I'm going to internet protocol. Click on properties. And make sure that obtain an IP address is automatically. Obtain DNS server address should be automatically. And alternate configuration, um, it also should say automatic private IP address. And click OK. And click close. OK. Now you can close this down. Alright, so now we're going to go back here and we're going to type in by any chance if you're not getting any um, page or anything that's fine that's why right now we're going to show you how to configure this okay so we're going to go to http forward slash as you can see i already have it there 192.168.1.1 dot enter and you're gonna see the um, this window will pop up do not type anything in the username type in and the password is admin that's all the passwords for every router um, and then you press OK and you should see this links is division of Cisco systems and this is the setup okay so right now we're going to configure the cable DSL is totally different which I'll show you um, uh, it will be in my next tutorial but for right now I'm going to show you how to set up the cable version here an in internet connection type it should say automatic configuration DHCP and automatically you'll have your router name WRT54G and here it should say your local IP address, which is the router IP address. This is not your real IP address. This is your sub mask. And this is your starting IP address. And right now, this computer that I'm in right now is 100, meaning that this is the main port. If by any chance I connect other computers to this router, it's going to say 101. 102, 103, it depends how much computers I have connected to this router. But for right now, this computer that I'm in right now is 100. If I go to the computer in the kitchen, it's going to be 101. Each computer is going to have its own identity. And this is the only way the router will be able to identify each computer. 
using the same IP address. After you have these settings here, press Save Settings. Every time you leave a page, always press Save Settings. And then, a very important thing, you go to MAC Address Clone. This is another way for to duplicate your um, your internet service to the other computer. If by any chance this is disabled, you will not be able to use internet in the other computer. So always have this enabled and click clone your PC's Mac and then press save and then continue. Now go to status. When you go to status here, it's going to show you to see if you are connected. And as you can see that I am connected right now, it shows my domain name, which is uh, the Comcast. And it shows my real IP address that my internet service provider has provided me. And then, uh, this is mainly it. it. As long as you see this information, you are connected. Alright, so if you have any problems, um, you may contact me. And... Uh, uh, any way as possible but that's it after this is done you have cloned your Mac address so you should you should uh, you don't have to do the same thing to the other computer you don't have to go to your secondary computer and go to the settings again or you don't have to go through that all you have to do is of course what we did before you go to start you go to my network places and then we go to view internet uh, view network connections and then just make sure this is all set automatically alright so once you're done you should press home which is yahoo.com BAM all that is clear and then we just go like maybe to uh, Tiger Direct or something like that which is like your computer store and yeah all that should be there okay so I guess that's it for now um, this is to show you how to configure your um, your com this com the main computer, but in my other tutorials I will show you how to set up the wireless, and now I will show you how to set up the DSL version because DSL is different than the cable. Okay, um, I believe that the cable connections is a lot easier than the um, DSL. Sometimes DSL causes problems. It depends on your password. But um, this is mainly it. Alright, so thank you very much for listening to my tutorial. Have a nice day. And I hope I've helped a couple of people out um, with this tutorial. Thank you very much.